Hello YouTube, it's MiniPut23 today, and we just uploaded a video a couple days ago called Zombies, just playing out zombies, I think. Yeah, and it was a Minecraft version of the Zombie Apocalypse. Well, today I want to give you another version, the Zombie Apocalypse Nerf style. This video will break them down to one, two, three, four, maybe five parts. First up, we have the good old armor. Can't trust, can't go wrong with this. Good. Covers up body. Well, it's the best you can get, really. There's nothing else you can find. Nothing else you can really make. The second part in a zombie apocalypse will be your melee weapons. That includes baseball bats, knives, screwdrivers, anything you use your hands with an object to hit them with. First up, my personal favorite, the good old wooden baseball bat. Louisville Slugger. This thing can take out limbs, faces. Here, let me show you an example. So I can go up top, like that. I go under from under, or you just go straight through the head. Plus, it's very lightweight. You can run with it, tuck it easily. The size is a little big, but it's not that big of a deal. Second up is a screwdriver. Now, the reason I use a screwdriver, preferably Phillips, is because it's smaller, a lot lighter, and my favorite part, a lot less dangerous than using a knife. When you're using a knife, yeah, I, I agree, it's better than a Phillips. But, if you're sitting there, you're bored, you've no electricity, somebody eventually is going to start playing with the knife. They're like, oh, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. I can throw knives in the air. Well, eventually that person's going to miss. That that knife will eventually go through their head. And that person will eventually be dead. Phillips, I can throw this. I can hit my hand. It won't hurt nearly as bad as a knife. Sure, if I hit myself on the top of the head, I might get killed and might have a brain damage or something like that. But, not that bad. And that's... And plus, it's quieter. If you, you're running through the woods scavenging, scavenging, whatever it's called, and you see a zombie, like a crier, someone just like moving around eating a bird, you can go up right next to it, hit it in the head, it's, it will be dead. You can, it can go through the ear easily right there like that, and it'll be dead in a second. This third part in the zombie apocalypse is probably the viewers most favorite is the weapons. As you can see right here, we've got a Stampede, Alpha Trooper, just a normal dark tag, old version, a hand pistol, and you're gonna need tons of empty mags. Uh why I like the Stampede, it's good for combat missions, like if you're in a group trying to protect someone, you can easily maneuver this around. I need it right here. Get close. Easy to shoot. The only thing I do not like about it is it is very loud and can cause other zombies to awake. My second, probably one of my favorites, medium sized secondary gun. Kind of like it's close to a shotgun. Shotgun, you guys all rave about. Oh, it's the best gun ever. But I like the Alpha Trooper CS18 better. The Alpha Trooper, it's a lot easier to carry. A lot easier to reload than double or shotgun for a nerf. You just lock it. Deadly accurate. Unlike the st Stampede. Deadly accurate, more mags. I don't know what's wrong with it. Third up, Sam used my baseball bat to hit a guy to the ground. Because you're not going to kill that many guys with a baseball bat. Push them back. That's what the main part of the Louisville Sluggers do. Is to get the guys backwards. Give them more room. So, say, I have a zombie right there. I hit him in the back with a baseball bat. Throw my bat, put it back on my back. Take out my gun, pop it, done. 
guy's gone. He's out. He'll never be back. Unless there's a zombie invasion, which we'll all be screwed. Um, I always like keeping a gun, say, since you guys love that 12 gauge shotgun and keep that with me. Right now I just have a normal dark bird cat. Because when you go scavengering, you're going to find a lot of, you might find a house that used to have uh, a refugees group that got, you know, died or something. You can find some ammo for 12 gauge. You might, you're, nine times out of ten you'll find a gun, but what happens if you don't? Just, it's like your collector's item. It's like collecting baseball cards. Pretty much what it is, yeah. The third part in the zombie, I mean the fourth part, one, two, no, third, I'm sorry, in a zombie apocalypse will be your utilities, your radio, your light bulb, and your flashlight, your batteries, your telephones. Now this is why, I, this is my favorite right here. You know why? This thing can go without a lot of power. I don't have a battery plugged in right now, I took it out, it's on a charger. You can charge this baby, the battery up for probably, a, if you charge it up for at least a day, probably last you about a month. Flashlight, you, everyone needs one. In case you go out for night, scavenging, you need it. Batteries are going to be your new best friend. These guys will save many lives. You, I have a stack of them in my garage over there. The, the phone. Walkie talkie, landline, whatever you want to call it. You type in your number. Whatever you want. Everyone knows how to use a phone, right? If you don't, you've been living under a rock for the past month. The f one, two, third, fourth part of zombie invasion is going to be your survival. That was utilities, weapons, melee. Oh wait, oh wait, we did have one, two, three, four. Speak. This will be the fifth part. I'm sorry. Will be your survival: pillows, blankets, water, food. You see right here, I got a pillow right there behind a blanket. I like the color. Hides in well, beige, no fancy orange. Never bring a bright color with you. You see right here. You can see. Yeah. That zombie apocalypse will happen. That we change for water. That's not my beer. We're in a party, graduation party soon. So don't judge me. Um, food. Right here. Right here. See all this pop. All that. Tons of ketchup. Applesauce is great. Peanut butter is great. Uh, Cereal's great. I think cereal's the expiration date. Um, and then the also part of survival is so we um, physical. I mean, not physical. Your um, emotional side. That's why I have in case somebody's you know bawling their eyes out. Cause face it or not, your family's are, one of your family members are gonna die. <laughs> it might happen. It might not. But you need to be prepared for it. In case someone just starts flipping out because they're seeing you know, their loved ones turn it against them and try to bite their faces off. You just want a little tiny room. It doesn't have to be big. This is, used to be just a little kid's place when I was six. Just come in here. person can just sit down and just lay down and take a nap. Think. You can put water in here or something like that. But the most important thing is leave a pistol in here. The person wants to... I know you're going to think, oh, well, that person will commit suicide. You always have to be prepared in case an uh, walker or any type of zombie comes at you. <laughs> I've seen cases where people have shot themselves with a uh, nerf gun. It's been very sad. <laughs> yes. Moving on. <sighs> you need exercise. You got a treadmill here. You need to be able to run. You don't need any really bench presses or anything. You need a treadmill, and that's pretty much all you'll need. Because you're going to be doing a lot of running, folks. A lot of running. Nice. I only said... I know I only said four parts. But I need to teach you guys... I mean, I know I only said four or five parts. But I need to teach you guys one last thing. It's called getting into the woods and not trying to die. When I go in the woods, I... 
I told you I only like bringing my stampede for I know it's gonna be a zombie infestation. I just bring my alpha trooper with me. Take it out. Let's see here, I'll leave it over here for you guys. Always leave a door locked. Looks clean out right now. I don't see any zombies. So you're scavenging. Be locked and loaded at all times in case you see the zombies. Try to find some animals. See right there, I got a bird. No. Just hold on one second. Sorry, I did not want a younger audience to see that. Now, when I'm going out here, I have my gun locked and loaded. You always want to have your eyes on the swivel, your head on the, head on the swivel. You want to be looking for everything at once. In case I see a zombie right there, look on that, on that hill right up there, just take it out like that. So. Just like that. Now this, you don't go into. You have two paths right there. You have open green in the valley, or you have through the lots of greenery. What do I take? Go this way, head on a swivel, head on a swivel, just in case. Now, find a zombie, you find a dead person, and you don't you can get near it, let it rest in peace. Find a zombie, shoot it, find a dead zombie, you be careful. Because what, nine times out of ten when you find a dead zombie, somebody must have killed it. And if you know no one in your group has killed it, there's a group nearby. And there's a group nearby, you don't know if they're going to be friendly, they're going to have tons of water for you, or tons of food for you, or they're like going to come in your house and go like pirates and take it all out. A pirate group, that's what I like to call them. They're the work. That was too close. Sorry guys, you can see I got knocked over. The camera went out. I'm sorry. I apologize. <sighs> see him back inside. I can take my bird meat. Store it in. Or now when you make a group, there's you wanna have four parts of a group. You wanna have a person that the food person. How many parts do we have? We have the emotional part. Let's, let's count it. We get armor, right? We get our melee weapon. We get our guns. We had our utilities. We had our survival. That. And then we had scavenger. But what's missing? Oh, and I forgot to put this into utilities. If you can, you want to try to get a map. A map can show where we are right now. Good old, good old Wheeling Pittsburgh. Yeah. It's for Pennsylvania. I'm sorry. And then you can show if you know where a zombie population is inhabited or where there's a safe haven. Like right here, we have Hilton Head Island. That is a safe haven right now. Or you can feel more. You can see like Miami, Miami, Florida. That place is filled with zombie right now. It's it's packed. It's like pretty much. The worst place for if you want to live right up. Um, poor LeBron James, I know. Um, what else is there? Where was that? You the le the people of the group. You need a medic. That's an important thing. I forgot to mention first aid kits, but that I'm not that good with. First aid kits. You you could try to go to a hospital, but that's gonna be packed with zombies too. Go to like a med express or a small doctor's care, like. Your, where your doctor is, where you just go to get a checkup. Not like a giant hospital, like a UPMC or Highmark or 
something like that. Just a small where you get checked up at. Um, what else is there? You have your medic, your food and water person, your guns ablaze, and the person that's the killer. And you'll need a team leader. Team leader is going to be, he can do all of this. Most importantly, though, he's going to keep everyone level headed. No one's going to get over, you know, oh my god, it's a zombie population. What do we do? What do we do? What do you do? That person, he or she will calm everyone down, let them take a deep breath, and say, We're going to live. Don't worry. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Uh, all I can think of right now. Uh, I guess I can go outside and shoot some more birds for fun. Let me, let me go see what's out there. See my head's on a swivel still. Bird. No, oh, in cars or any I prefer an SUV. I don't know about a Hummer because they'll have all that. If you can get like an electric car, I don't know what you can get. High MPG, my preferred choice. I saw a bird. Oh. Here I go again on my own. Going down the only road. I... Oh! 